Uh, hello, and welcome back to A Day in the Life of an Actor. Today is Sunday, so this is all kind of content from the day before and the day before that, Friday and Saturday, but I've got some good content. Friday was super chill because I didn't have to teach any workshops, so I got to explore the school before the show and just kind of muck around while the other actors finished teaching their workshops. Once the workshops were done, that's when my workday started. It was pretty cash, you know, making Abby laugh, beating Abby up, playing with Issa's dead body, uh, oh, and beating Gianna up too. All in the safest way possible, of course. Island will no longer play! Oh, my phone, please. Um, how's it for all? That's all great. Great. Then we do our show, we load out our set and props, and then head home for the day. Hello! Boom! Time skip. It is now three weeks later. <laughs> the tour is done. It has been done for two weeks. And um, I, I, I meant to finish this vlog. I, I did finish this vlog. But the second half, there were some problems with it, some complications. And I was gonna replace it with a different thing and the thing just never happened so now the rest of this vlog is about what finishing the tour is like <laughs> okay. That's it's funny to think you, you know like it's the end of the tour things should be getting like super consistent and normal but on tour it's never consistent or normal and our last week of tour was actually it was kind of the hardest. There was the most jam-packed with stuff. We didn't really have much time to hang out or, uh, you know, do group activities. So the weekend before, we knew that this hard week was coming up. We decided to have a barbecue and a wiffle ball tournament. We attempted actors playing sports. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Dyler has gone on yeah, give her brain fried. My lady papa Zenny, out her lady popping molly while she waiting on me. Yogi in my area, yogi in my area. Keep on heading if you want, I drive it like a nut. I don't wanna hear. And Fiona, what do you have to say about what you're witnessing right now? Um, you know, I think we've got a lot of great talent on the field today. Unfortunately, it seems they made up their own version of baseball where. You there actually get no points rules. when you, yeah, when you miss. Actually, that's yeah. the rule. Yeah, so pretty impressive players, actually. Mm -hmm. Get to know me and I never flow. God, Jabba, Nooni, Boonie, Gin, and Chill. Fendi snakes on my belt. Yeah, I'm feeling first class. Yo, don't cash flow. Ooh, pop it on my glass. Ooh, pop that, pop them cats. Ooh, smoke that, smoke that gas. Cash pay, blackjack, monkeys on my pick. One honey, two honey, multiply. Dollar sounds my lullaby. <laughs> Never sleep on me. I some change so good night. Go get what you're looking at. Full nine noon, honey monk on it. Kelly, you're not a great pitcher, but you're a fantastic chef. This is amazing. Oh! Oh! Right into the tree. So yeah, actors and sports, it's not a great mix, but um, actors and acting, that is a great mix. We had, you know, we, we worked through the week and um, uh, on the last day, the last day was actually our hardest day because we had a morning show, then we went to a different location to teach workshops, then we went and did an evening show and we did talkbacks in between. And, you know, it was, it was a, actually a really lovely last day.
work. Woo! <laughs> we finished the show. It's super late at night. I insisted that we take some funny photos, which I love. And then the next day, we drove from Salt Lake City back to Cedar City. Enjoyed some of the views, listened to some good music, and then we had to unload all of the stuff that we put into these poor cars for the last four months. At the end of every show or season, a theater will do something called Strike, where they basically just take everything apart and tear it all down uh, so that they can start fresh for the next year or the next season or the next show, whatever's coming up. After Strike, the festival treated us to a super nice dinner it was a party, it was great vibes, uh, we all got to give one last hurrah to one another before some of us went across the country, some of us stayed. I actually stayed to work for the festival just for an extra week doing something called the Bard's Birthday Bash where we celebrate Shakespeare's birthday and teach uh, all the elementary school students from around Cedar City about who Shakespeare is with different kinds of events like jousting and cake with the queen and a bunch of other stuff. And then I flew back home and here I am vlogging in my sister's room because it looked like a bomb went off in my room after I got back and uh, yeah, tour is over. I hope you're all having a great day. Bye. Thank you.